does this show freak you out as much as it's freaking me out? Because I'm going to have nightmares over this. I'm not... Yeah, it's spooky, huh? Yeah, it's Things so in your like, living in your kitchen, just listening to everything you to say. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, just writing it all down. It's crazy. No, I, I'm really excited about it. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> just in terms of... Because it's stuff that I... Like, I, I just have read about it a lot and listened to a lot of stuff about AI and stuff and I just think that it's something that people are not um, aware of enough, you know, and so the fact that there's going to be this, like, mainstream uh, show that's going to be addressing this issue that a lot of people are not talking about I just think is important, you know, so it's, it's not just your usual, like, you know, detective show, not that detective shows are great and stuff, but I just, you haven't seen something like this, um, and I find that incredibly exciting, and I think that the threat that is posed in the show is something that is very much a reality. Or could be. A lot of these things, they go way off into space or into the future, and like, they talk about like robots with red eyes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What I think that the directors and creators have done so well is they've made it really grounded in reality. Like, what if it happens tomorrow? You know, as opposed to with spaceships and stuff like that. I mean, it's not that far away. Like, we're not, like, AI is doing so much in our day-to-day -day lives that we're not even aware of, mm -hmm. you know, um, because we've grown so accustomed to it and our reliance on it and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I, mean, I just think it's an important topic to be talking about and that, you know, we're, like, there's so many concerns right now. Climate change, political stuff, you know, it's like AI is just moving in the background there. It's this, like, silent threat that people aren't talking about. It's just like, if the robots take over, we're all fucked. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So what are your characters? I play a guy named CM, who's a uh, computer hacker, and, uh, like, a, he's, he's kind of uh, on work release. He's got, like, an uh, ankle bracelet. So I don't know if he's there willingly. I don't think he is. But he's somehow burning off hours to pay penance for something he's done in his past. I'm not quite sure yet. Yeah, um, and I play Gina, who is a data analyst who works with the FBI. Ooh. Yeah. Do they give you a backstory? I mean, do you, you really don't know what what's happening to him? It hasn't got, we haven't got, I haven't heard yet. Okay. But, uh, um, but uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll find out. I know at some point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, is it is it basically um, a human based drama or is it more like a sci fi type situation? Well, that's why I think it's more human based. I, okay. I think it's, it's going to feel incredibly human. I mean, there's, you know, it's, that, that's what's so creepy about these things is we call it Alexa, we call it Siri. I mean, it has a name. It has like a you know, jokes with you now. Like, I mean, they've, they've somehow humanized these things so much that we've started to lose some of our. We've become dehumanized somehow with each other. Like, you know. Yeah, like you know people are proposing to Alexa. Like, that's a fact. There was an article out about it, how it's just like, what is this saying? And also the fact that, like, how it is uh, altering the psychology of kids, that they're yelling at Alexa and they're being rude to it, and like, dealing with the fact that Alexa is female voice, and Siri is a female voice, and all these things, and how that is... I didn't think about that. What yeah. that yeah. yeah, well, I mean, what do you, like, you have children who are yelling at women robots. Like, why? <laughs> you know? Like, just, just put it out wow. there. It's like, you don't even think about that, but it's like, that's very that. much... What message are you sending out when you're allowing that dynamic to happen? So I think it is people think of AI as this thing that's really far away and removed from our day to day lives, but it's not. Um, and yeah, that is what the show does. Yeah. So was that, I mean, at the very beginning, the appeal of it was it something that's current today? We need to know about this. Is that why you latched on? Yeah. Well, it's, it's I was. Um, I don't think it's, you know the show Chernobyl? So it came out and there's this one thing that uh, one of the guys just says to the other guys, like, how do we fix this problem? And the other guy's like, we've never faced this, in, like, the existence of the planet, so we don't know that we're facing this threat that we've never experienced. And so I think that's what, like, this is talking about a threat that we haven't experienced yet, but we're very close to it. We're on the, like, edge of entering that possibility. And so, yeah, that's why I just thought it was very current, relevant, important to talk about. It's also fun. I mean, it's going to be like a thriller. And a yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be like a race against the clock and like, uh, you know, it's to me, it, it feels like a blob. You know, it's like uh, this kind of faceless, uh, nameless, bloodless thing that's just kind of consuming all aspects of our lives and trying to run from it or attack it or destroy it or whatever, but you, you, it doesn't have a name and you don't know where, you know what I mean? It's kind of, so it's kind of in that tradition of kind of it's everywhere, like, you know what I mean? Um, very John Carpenter, you know? Yeah. 
guess also like it's Manny. It was like 24. You know, it's like shit's happening. Like things have to get done and stuff. I just yeah. Yeah. I just get excited about the like yeah the real things of it and how I like I said when I read the script I was like oh my god this is so cool this is all real shit you know like it's not like it's not like I mean he pulled it out of nothing like it's so based in research and it's really cool that he made this all this real stuff yeah very cool and like fast and <laughs> shit's happening and like yeah car you know? crashes yeah yeah car crashes and how do we stop this and what's happening and like whoa get to the chopper yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can't win the bottle of the battle or there won't be a second season right so uh, well I mean it's you know it's kind of like a game of whack-a-mole I think a little bit. yeah so you can maybe grab you know put one out but you know if this thing's out of the you know if the genie's out of the bottle yeah how do we it's, it's out there now, yeah you know interesting so, are you normally a fan of sci-fi type stories? I don't think I've ever done a sci-fi thing. Well, I just did a decent. That's a. I don't think I've ever. Uh, yeah, sci-fi. I stuff. like sci-fi stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Would we call this sci-fi? I don't know. It's like oh, well, sci-fi I mean, thriller. Is that, what, is that what it's in, is in books think, and stuff? Yeah. Says, do they describe it as sci-fi? I think so. Yeah. I mean, like yeah, in yeah, a future so. where robots take, and not the robots, but AI takes over. Is I think considered sci fi, but right. I'm so like into this. I'm like, no, yeah, it's not so sci fi. Like, yeah. it's, it's real. There's no fiction, it's science. <laughs> <laughs> Have you changed anything that you, your daily life with technology after you're starting this show that you're just like, okay, I need to step back? I'm just trying not to look at my phone every time I like have a like don't know what to do or don't have like it's like it's so immediate to like look at this thing and then I look at it and there's for what so I go to, I go to my Instagram and I flip I don't it's just so like like after a while <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I mean, I'm always, I've always been very much like, I, I'm such a luddite. Like, I have a, like, you know, my phone is like a 5S. Like, it's a really old, like, <laughs> iPhone. If I could have a flip phone, I probably would. Like, so I've always been very wary of it and its effect on people. And it's, you just, you see it immediately. Like, and I remember a time where I was like, Facebook, what's that? Like, that's so, so stupid. Why would you be, like, friends with people who you're friends with in real life? I remember those words coming out of my mouth. And, like, Holy cow, like it's yeah. just, it's insane. Are you on the way I I know, and I have an Instagram account and I have all that shit, but like I'm very like aware of it and try not to go on it. Like I don't, I put my phone away. I want to be able to read for three hours straight without checking my phone, you know? Like it's just, yeah. Thank you guys. Okay, oh. thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.